So protect your family's health by burning blue coal, America's finest anthracite. Then you'll be sure of steady, lasting, healthful heat at less cost. The next time you order fuel, ask for blue coal by name. You don't have to get a full supply. Your nearest blue coal dealer will be glad to send you a trial ton. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Time for Ocala Magazine Radio and the face and voice of Ocala Magazine, Kelly Hart is in the studio. Kelly is the executive editor of Ocala Magazine. She writes for the magazine and uh, brings that charm right here to the radio show. Good morning, Kelly. How hey, are you? Good morning. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? You look great. Thanks. You look bright. Are you, Thank you. all into the springtime and everything? I guess so. Yeah. Just having a good week, I guess. <laughs> anything that you're doing this weekend? Um, you know, I'm not really sure. I, I'm, I have no real plans. No real plans. I really just want to sleep in tomorrow. Okay. That's my goal for tomorrow okay. morning. It's it's, a, it's that time of year. It's, it's, a it's sleep between in. things. It's not close enough to Mother's Day. Right. And we're farther far away yeah. from Memorial Day. It's all nothing's really. Yeah. Well, I'm beginning next week. There seems to be a lot of events happening. That's when it starts on yeah. the weekends, yeah. and uh, there's Kicks in. so my calendar is pretty full. But this weekend, I kind of have an open weekend, which is really nice. Yeah. This so is. I don't know what I'll this do. This is the weekend. We sh- somebody should have planned something. Well, yeah, <laughs> they should have, and I don't know how everybody manages to keep things separate when they start planning. They don't. There's so it's, many things going it's on. A pro- it's a problem. And a lot of times, I have to choose what. What am I going to do? Maybe sure. something this year that sure. I didn't do last year but this particular weekend it seems oh. pretty wide open which is unusual for me you, i almost don't know what to do with an empty weekend your photo was in the star banner yes oh be- my gosh because you were on the vagina in the vagina monologue. yes i was the angry vagina and that's, i'm just ca- careful i want you to be careful that okay. you don't get typecast oh, i mean gosh. you don't want your next guest your I next know. role to be well I know. she's known as the angry vagina i don't know if we can have her in this one i know well i think that's how i got that role which is, <laughs> oh, it's funny because oh, everybody no. when i told everybody what my role was the 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 consensus was kind of like oh, oh. You'd, you'd be perfect oh. for that I was like, what does that even mean <laughs> so i'm just gonna take <laughs> it as a good. compliment and and i owned it and i think it was wonderful <laughs> and it was really surprising to see my picture in the paper did you so. did you have to um like did you get any acting coaching or anything like that from any anybody no well you know chad taylor was the director for the vagina monologue right so we did some rehearsals and he met with each of us independently so we could go through our lines so did you have to really look angry or because i would i would be afraid because i don't know anything about acting mm-hmm. that i would pretend to be angry and everybody would say gosh it looks like you're pretending instead of actually being well, angry. Well, that's the hard part because you are pretending. I mean, I didn't walk in there angry right, by right, any means. Right. And there's is it hard no to pretend? body parts I own is that are hard, angry. Is it hard acting angry and then and then walking off and not actually feeling angry? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, so I mean, I try to channel all the things that really make me angry. And uh, fortunately, I guess there's just not a lot of things. Uh, but I, I really did try to focus on those things or people that, so I tried to channel that, but it was really, oh, really? I mean, it's kind of hard to do. In fact, when I first met with Chad and I went in, he goes, okay, just, just read through the monologue. And so I was reading through it and trying to, <laughs> you know, be expressive and have alliteration and all of these things. And when I got done, I looked at Chad and I felt kind of proud and he was just <laughs> shaking his head like Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. He said, I need you to be really angry. Oh, really? Like, you oh, weren't angry gosh. enough? Gosh. Okay. So okay. I I wasn't angry enough so he kind of gave me permission to really try to be as angry as I possibly could and <laughs> you know so I had some vocabulary too within my particular monologue and you it's, mean words it's you don't outside normally of use? my character yeah especially you know in public now I'm not going to say that I don't use particular words right, right, privately right. or but in this case they were words. stub a toe or something but you know on my <laughs> Facebook page and in public and when I'm speaking to people especially professionally you know I'm very governed about w- things that I say I think and you're words different on your Facebook page than you are he- at least I, this is how I know you right here so mm-hmm. I don't hang out with you but yeah 
Well, I mean, I don't use profanity here. I wouldn't use profanity no, right, necessarily on right, my right, Facebook page right. or unless maybe I'll share something that happens to have a word in it or whatever. You know, I'm not <clears throat> so prude that I don't understand. Language is, is kind of just that. It's language. But I certainly wouldn't use the MF word um, really in real life. I can't really think of the last time in real, just in <laughs> real I, life that I've used that word. I, I use the F word, not the MF word. The, that's a pretty steep word. And I had to shout it on stage, but I mean, it was you part did? of the monologue. Oh, yes. that must have felt horrible. Um, it kind of felt good. What, what, but, oh, did it. what about the GD word? See, I'll stay no, no. away from that it because no, no. of religious convictions. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That okay. one's the the worst, I yeah, think, of yeah. all of them. And that one just... That wasn't in the script, It was though. not in the script, thankfully. But, yeah. um, you know, it, it's... I, I, I Like I say, I'm a very conservative person, believe it or not. I think that shocks I, a lot of people. That is easy to believe. Because, why, why, why Well, a lot of people believe that I am really liberal. I, I think when I get into conversations I, 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 with people about... But that whole liberal conservative thing... It really varies on whether you talk about spending money or mm -hmm. how you live your love life. I mean, you could be very liberal in your love life, in your personal bedroom, sure. in your own place. Right. And be very conservative in the way you raise your daughter. Sure. Right. And I think you have to pick and choose sure. where you're choosing to be liberal and where you're choosing to be conservative. And I think that my but parents have very traditional roles that my sister and I have kind of adopted. And so we kind of have those yeah. traditional roles. But I'm also open-minded. I don't want to put my beliefs and the way my traditions and the things that see, I choose to do onto other people. Your, That's my thing. Your strength and your candidness, everything that I know about you just from this to reflects the, to me that you must have some really great parents. I get from you that you must have some really good parents. I don't I know if do that makes some really good parents. a difference to you, but I, but it does. I mean, yeah, I, no, I, think, does. I think I am your parents' age, so I I have amazing parents. I mean, I'm very fortunate. The they older should be I proud. Get, they should be proud. I I would be. I mean, my mom was proud. You know, for for a moment there was some discussion about the vagina monologue. Oh, because of the because yeah. of all the controversy, yeah. and she wanted to make sure. Kelly, are you? aligning yourself with something that will um, hurt you, yeah, both, right, you know, right, right. My, maybe professionally or personally. And so we had this discussion. And of course, I always listen to my parents when they sit down and they really have something to tell me as an adult person. I know that it must wow. be meaningful. And so I always kind of weigh in on what it is that they told me. And after discussing it with my mom and really looking into it for myself, I knew that um, I kind of felt obligated to do it, not only just for my community, but you know, the media has so much scrutiny in, with the media and trying to silence certain things. And, and because of one word, vagina, be right. because the, the the big the big contribution that that and I haven't seen the whole show, but I've mm -hmm. read a bunch of it, mm -hmm. and I was watching some of the videos of other people doing it. To me, what it sounds like it's try, attempting to do. To correct me if I got it if I got it pegged wrong. It's trying to show that ladies should be treated with respect right. and equally. That to me is the two things, equality right. and respect. Right. And you know, the, the word vagina basically was just a, a symbol for women in but general. But it's also a shock thing. It, it's it is a shock It's also thing, a way sure. to get attention. Certainly. Which but you, what it does need. is it excludes men from the monologue. So what it's saying is any woman with this female body part is, <laughs> right, is right. understands at least one, if not many, of these monologues. Because if you're a mother, you'll understand how important that particular part of your body is when it comes to giving birth and creating life and and, and well, that everything too. that goes into it. So the idea that it was but also, that it was just all, all, you know negative and perverse really really also, kind of upset me. But also the moment you're born. Well, nowadays you can see it before you're born. But where do they look? Right there. Yep. And if you got one of them, you're going to be treated differently. Sure. And if you got one of what I got, <laughs> you're going to be treated differently. Sure. And that's the way society is. Yes. And, and we've made some mistakes because of that. Right. So we're trying to fix them. Yeah. And so, you know, I decided I was going to do it and I felt great doing it. And then, you know, after the fact, it really kind of all just came together. I think for all of us. Was Lily in the audience? And the purpose. No, Lily wasn't in the audience. <laughs> At nine years old, there was some language I just didn't want. <laughs> no, to no, not her mom. To. Not mom saying MF uh, no, loud no, enough no, to no, be no. heard through all No way, no way. But we did discuss it. I mean, I told Lily what I was doing. I didn't say, you right, know, right. V. I mean, the word vagina is fine to use in our home, and she understands sure. at nine what that means. And so I didn't try to shield her against the purpose of right. the event, but more so some of the content. Um, 
But it was great. I mean, it was a great turnout, and it was cool to see uh, it in the paper. And I think everybody really had great feedback. And did the people who were opposed to it come and see it and say, oh, I guess I had it wrong? I don't believe so. I don't think so. Mm. Um, I didn't hear of anyone who was kind of fighting against it say that they ended up going. And if they did go, and even if they did change their mind, it would take a lot of humility to say, you know, I went and I really was way wrong. And we, wow, we don't that live in a the, society that, the first that really thing does I would that. Do. Well, yeah, I mean, a, a, just a, a civilized human person, you would think, would say, I went and I was curious and, man, I really had that wrong. But I didn't hear any oh, of that absolutely. happening after the fact. But <laughs> it was great. And, and, and I enjoyed being able to then write about it in last month's issue. And uh, we got really good feedback it's from that. a good that, picture so. of you, by the way, in the paper. Just, Thanks. It should have been closer. Well, it was funny. I was kind of making a funny face, but I was also being angry so I, I mean yeah. who looks you know really great I guess when they're making their angry face alright let's do a little break okay. here and we'll be right back the phone lines are open by the way if you want to call Kelly 622-9622 we'll be right back with more Ocala Magazine Radio The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Clouds and some sun on Friday with a couple of showers and thunderstorms. Any thunderstorm can be strong in the afternoon with torrential downpours, large hail and damaging wind gusts. The high today, 77 to 81. Friday night will be mostly cloudy with a shower or thunderstorm early, though 63 at the interior, 69 at the coast. Saturday, variable cloudiness with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm. Highs in the upper 70s. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Joe Lundberg. Yes, it's the third annual Ocala's Got Talent with semifinals May 7th and finals May 21st. But you still have time to shine and audition for a slot in the running for your shot in Ocala's Got Talent. Call 595-7100. First place $1,000, second place $500, and third place $250. Audition fee is just $25 and spectators fee is $5. This helps the Heart of Florida Youth Ranch. Call 595-7100 for your chance to shine. Yes, Ocala's Got Talent. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, Yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we we do that, too. I need my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new truck. Yep, we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too. Well, as a matter of fact, join me, Matt Gibbs, from Sunrise Automotive every Tuesday at 10 for auto repair with personal care right here on The Source. Central Florida Eye Institute is the area's leader in laser vision correction. From high-definition refraction surgery and LASIK vision correction to custom cataract, glaucoma, and diabetic treatment, you can count on Dr. Crowley and his effective, friendly staff to provide you with the quality care you deserve. Call 352-237-8400 for an appointment or more information. That number again is 352-237-8400. Looking forward to service your vision needs. Robin, let's try a little plant trivia. Name this nursery. It's a not-for-profit, and it teaches growing and caring for plants to their students. Oh, that's easy. Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? It's a nursery conveniently located between Ocala and Bellevue. Again, it's Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? A nursery with a wide variety of just what you need or want at the most reasonable prices. Kenny's Place, of course. Kenny's Place at 7677 Southeast 41st Court. Give them a call at 867-1213. It's a caring place for people and plants. It's Kenny's Place. Welcome, William Bendix. Nobody can act up to par with a nasty cold. I check my cold distress the fast way with four-way cold tablets. Yes, tests of four leading cold tablets proved four-way fastest acting of all. Amazing four-way starts in minutes to relieve aches, pains, headache, reduce fever, calm, upset stomach, also overcomes irregularity. Four-way is the fast way to relieve those cold miseries. Then you feel better quickly. Four-way cold tablets, only 29 and 59 cents. Wow. Four-way gets rid of your cold, your hay fever, and your constipation. All in one pill. Sounds great. I don't know why we ever did away with that pill. <laughs> I, I don't know. Let's bring it back. Today's old, old-time radio day, which is why you're hearing those old radio ads. I was wondering. Yeah. It's also national... Uh, oh, my gosh. I just looked it up before I came inside. I was on Facebook. I have um, all the national days right here. Take a wild guest day. It is take a take wild guest day. Take a wild guest day. Yes. I don't even know what that means. I guess just... All day long, you're just <laughs> supposed to randomly just take wild guesses. Uh, close, close your eyes 
okay. and just take a wild guess that the light turned green. I mean, when you're at the traffic yeah, light. Yeah, go. Just go. Just go. Yeah. It's National Glazed Spiral Ham Day. It's <laughs> National Sounds Rubber cool. Eraser Day. As opposed to what other type of eraser? <laughs> I don't know. National Take a Wild Guess Day, as you said. Mm-hmm. National Tax Day, which it's really not. It'll be on Monday. National Titanic Remembrance Day. Were you a fan of the movie Titanic? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. National Day of Silence. This is when students uh, uh, take a vow of silence to support their their gay friends, gay and lesbian friends. Did you know that? I thought, doesn't that kind of contradict the fact that we shouldn't be silent about it? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I said. National Day of Silence. Uh, it's National yeah. Donate Life Blue and Green Day, which is to wear blue and green to promote organ donations. Hmm. I'm an organ donor, but I'm not wearing Are you really? Blue and green. it's National Old Time Radio Day. Oh. All well of that, the above. That works out wonderfully for you. I'm still not certain about the National Day of Silence. How does... Do you want me to read it to you? Well, I mean, how does it work? You just National Day of go Silence through the whole day without saying anything? A student-led movement to protest bullying and harassment of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender students and those who support them. Hmm. The Day of Silence brings brings a way to illustrate to the schools and the colleges how to how the intimidation name calling and general bullying has a silencing effect hmm there you go okay participating students take a day long vow of silence oh my gosh <laughs> well I've already blown it I didn't well, even know you, you, I didn't even know <laughs> and I mean what's the odds anyways of me being start silent now. you can start now I mean, listen, I don't, need, would do the I don't need to show. be quiet for my gay and lesbian transgender friends to know that I support them and love them no matter what. They're still not going to get me to well, be so what silent. Are your th- what are your I thoughts mean, on which bathroom they, the transgender person should Oh, my gosh. Use? You know, we put a Vox question out, I think, yesterday or the day before yesterday, yeah. um, which we do all of the time just to kind of create a dialogue and see where our community stands on certain topics. And anytime there's something really heavily being discussed, we usually will turn it into a Vox question. And so the question, and I'm not exactly sure how I wrote it, but it basically just said, you know, what are your thoughts on transgender male and females being able to use the you know, opposite bathroom and, and, you know, opposite was in quotes. And then in parentheses, I even put, you know, for lack of better words, sensitively, because I figured no matter how I worded that sentence, I would somehow be politically incorrect or insensitive, or I may appear to have my own opinion, opinion, which we try to remain neutral. So I made, I tried to make the question itself (laughs) as really as basic and simple as possible. And man, I caught some heat. From, really? Yes, I caught some heat from someone on Facebook. How? Um, just the fact that my question in itself was insensitive and the fact that we weren't educating people and that they hoped there was some journalistic oh, integrity behind the question. And I mean, listen, <clears throat> you know, I'm not a perfect here's person, what, but my goodness, I would never in a million years pose a question that here, I think would be harmful. I even try to be very careful when we talk about weight and not say, you know, fat people and sure, things like sure, that. I will sure. try to say... So, know, but here's but. here's the thing. We're supposed to have an understanding and everybody should be treated fairly, right? Well, but, but you're leaving yeah. out 90 plus percent of the women who are going to end up in a bathroom with some guy who thinks he's a woman mm-hmm. and they're not going to feel comfortable. Well, you have to understand that these that these guys don't believe that they're guys. I don't have to understand they it. They believe that they're women. And so... No, 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 Kelly. I don't have to understand it. The women in the bathroom have to understand it. Right. And well, t- yes. And tell a college-age girl who's 20 years old that she has to understand that this guy mm-hmm. <laughs> that's in the stall next to her is a, ro- is a woman. Right. The, the, that's... The, so, so why right. can't Why can't, if they're going to do this, A, have the family room and let them use that one? Because there's three bathrooms in many mm-hmm. places. Okay. Or have the transgender folks all use the men's room. Because men don't care. And, and we're not afraid for our sons, you know. Right. Well, but, it's probably but, cleaner than the women's room anyways. <laughs> but we're afraid for our daughters. Sure. We don't and, want- and, I, and, and I have listened and I have read. That's why yesterday when someone was saying, oh, this is so insensitive, I thought, you know, I really try to be very sensitive to everybody's everything. I have my own opinions and and but you're an easy target. People everything. like to pick on you. That's they what do, it is. but you know what? I always feel like I win in the end because it did exactly what I wanted it to do, yeah. and that was to create a dialogue. So there you go. Kelly won. 
that guy, <laughs> zero. I mean, that's what we do. And, and you know, and, and Ocala Magazine is not a tabloid. We're not out chasing bad news. We don't like to exploit that's people. Right. That's we are right. good. It's a fun magazine. We are a good, good media, as positive a media <clears throat> as one can be. And I do believe we're sensitive to all I types think you, of things. I you, think you blaze some trails, too. I, I think the magazine goes in some directions that some... Hometown magazines would never even dare to go, and I think you should be well. Listen, last last for that. summer we we I wrote an article. It was called Trapped, and it was specifically about the transgender culture here in Ocala, right. and that's when the Caitlyn Jenner thing was happening. And I thought we can't sweep this under the rug. We have to educate ourselves. And at that time, I knew very very little about the transgender culture. I didn't have anyone in my life in particular that I was close to, and there was a lot of questions unanswered. So I wanted to educate myself as well as anyone who would pick up the magazine and read it. So I do believe that that is always our mission is to create a dialogue and to get people thinking. We're not saying what you have to think and how you have to feel and what you have to believe. But can I ask you? Sure. How do you feel as a woman walking into a bathroom with your little girl Mm -hmm. and there's a guy in there? If it were a guy, if it were like any man who identifies himself as male that would walk past the window, of course I would be f- frightened. No, no, a man who identifies himself as female. I, I, I don't know. Um, oh, oh. I, I know. I know. How that would sounds, your father feel? Sounds, Let me ask you this: How would your father, father feel? My father would not like it. Of course. Of course, he would not like for of me. Course. He would not like for my mother, my sister, or right. any of his granddaughters exactly. right. to be in a bathroom exactly. with anyone who would have genitalia that could still potentially that's right harm us that's exactly right and beyond harm just the exposure of uh, there you go. i don't want lily exposed to any no of course you don't see much anyway tell you so that doesn't usually happen in a bathroom you don't usually see each other's stuff but no but but if if that guy who thinks he's a woman went into the men's room what mm-hmm. would your father say what would your father say if you saw a guy at a urinal who looked like a woman Right. He wouldn't say anything. He'd, he'd come out and say, oh, you're never going to believe the yeah, guy. Yeah, he would. He would just But like, he's not going to be afraid of him. Lipstick. Right. No, of course not. That's my point. Of course not. He's going to be not. afraid of the guy. Now, maybe the guy's harmless, but I don't think we should be the ones who determine that. We, sh- we shouldn't have to fear that the guy's going to be trouble. I think what may ultimately happen is there may just be, rather than public bathrooms with separate stalls, there may be separate bathrooms with locking doors so rather than seeing a women in a men's room you might just yeah, find, might be, yeah. you might just find a door that you go <laughs> in and, <laughs> yeah. and w- it doesn't matter what you think you are you can think you're a unicorn and if you need to use the restroom here's wow. your separate restroom I mean unicorn. you know who knows I mean y- you don't know and I haven't I personally haven't sat down and really thought about it long enough to to really decide it is a weird thing that we're talking about in this country but though. it is and I try, again, I try to be sensitive and think, what if it were me? What would I do? But then again, I'm a woman and I also have a young daughter. So I just, I haven't really formed my my opinion on it yet. Well, but, your, but it will happen. Your it solution happen. is probably the best solution. Just having a mm-hmm. one room and everybody's got their own little locked door. That's right. top, that's probably the best one. Probably. It's kind of expensive. Kind of expensive and, and probably really inconvenient for the people waiting that need right, to go inside. Right. But... Um, you know, we have to make some some decisions. We've got two and minutes left. Do we do have a call coming in? Okay. Somebody wants to express sure. an opinion on this. I yes. think. Good morning. You're on the air. Hey. Good morning. I just had a quick comment. Um, I'm and a question. We're talking about journalistic integrity, and I'm just curious why we're asking journalists their opinion. Well, because well, she's a friend. I'm subject. asking Kelly because she's a friend. Well, I, I mean, journalists are are human. I think sometimes people forget that we we're hu- we're humans, and I think because I'm a woman, and because I I as a journalist still use a women's bathroom, and I also have a young daughter who would be exposed to whatever goes on in a woman's bathroom. Uh, you know, I think I'm just as entitled to an opinion as anyone else. I do think that it is my journalistic responsibility to be very careful um, when and where I present my opinion and how I do so. But, I mean, I still am a woman, so I still have an opinion on it. Plus, I'm sitting here, so I'm asking. <laughs> Plus, Larry asked me all kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for answering, honestly. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the call. Well, that's, you know, a, that's what we're about. We're about I, opinions here. Sure. Well, and I think, you know, if you read my editor's note in the April issue, I kind of touch on that very topic, and that is it is hard for sometimes for people to separate me from what I do at the magazine and what I represent for this community and the, and the fact that I am a, 
I'm still a You're human awesome. person. And You're I have, awesome. We're proud of you. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. And hey, I want to remind everybody, like us on Facebook because today is the last day to submit nominations for 40 Under 40. And it's also the last day to vote People's Choice for our celebration of nurses. So by midnight tonight, there will be absolutely no going back, no exceptions. So take a few moments today and uh, vote for a nurse and nominate an awesome person for 40 Under 40. There you go. Thanks so much. Thank you, Kelly. We'll take a break. Be right back. The rock and roll. The rock and roll is going to suit. Fox News Radio. I'm Chris Foster. It's three years since the Boston Marathon bombing, now known as One Boston Day. The attacks of three years ago have not faded. It's a little bit more on the top of everyone's mind. It's scary to think about. 